It's Carol with a devotional on, yes, Christmas Eve, and I've entitled it, It's 1224, Christmas Eve. Let's refocus, breathe, and worship. You have everything done? How much is left to do? Are you tired yet? Please stop. Just take a few minutes and breathe. Just breathe. Get out your Bible. Sit down in a quiet spot. Grab your cup of coffee. And reread the accounts of the birth of the Savior. Matthew 1, 18 through 2, 12 and Luke 2, 1 through 20 are two accounts from two Holy Spirit inspired writers with two different views, but both 100% accurate. And they give us a full picture of this marvelous event, this night. I know I've really stressed and talked a lot about the importance of goals and planning and not getting stressed out in this month's devotions. So how did we do on that? Did it make a difference for you? Did it help you just stop and think, what are my priorities? What's really important here? Is the birth of the Savior a renewed marvel in your heart? Is there a reason for renewed hope in your heart? Your very being? If not, it's not too late. Stop. Bow your head and pray, asking God to do the refocusing in your heart. Ask him to help you with your goals and your planning and help him with help you with the very reason that you get up each morning. If the answer was yes to all of those, praise God. He is so worthy. He's worthy of our focus, of our worship, our reason for all that we do, say, and think. In worship, it's where we express reverence and adoration for our God, where we admit that everything is about him and to be grateful to him for all he provides us with. In worship, we focus on him and take our eyes off from ourselves. My prayer is that all of us, you and myself, that this Christmas would be an opportunity to refocus on Jesus, the real reason for the season. And I'm going to take a minute and reread Luke 2, 1 through 20 with you. It's just, help us focus on this marvel. I'm going to play O Holy Night, because what a night that was. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration when Quinarius was the governor of Syria, and all went to be registered, each to his own town. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth, to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling cloths and laid him in a manger. Because there was no place for them in the inn. And in the same region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. 
And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told them. So just close your eyes a minute. Think on those words while I play O Holy Night. Help us not lose the awe of that. Make it just cling tightly to us, to our hearts, that we may serve you well. In your son's name I pray, amen. Hey guys, you have a great Christmas. And if you want to hear some Christmas music, I am going to be doing some live streaming from my living room here this evening at 6 and then tomorrow both at 11 in the morning and at 8 at night. Just some Christmas music to hopefully encourage you, help you keep your eyes focused on Jesus, and make that walk with our Heavenly Father just as close as it can be. You have a great day.